Hi everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of TTI. I know we all love fighter jets, so today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 best Russian fighter jets on the planet. I hope you enjoy it! Coming in at number 5, the Su-27 or Flanker B, as it's more commonly known over at NATO, is one of the most powerful fighter jets in existence. It is a fourth generation domestic multi-purpose fighter designed for air combat and one of the things that makes this jet so special is the fact that it's the primary craft of the Russian military and is pretty much drooled over by militaries all over the world on the account of its effectiveness. On the outside, the Su-27s are painted in three distinct shades of blue, which is also known as standard sky camouflage. Meanwhile, the lower part of the aircraft is painted in a plain light blue, while the wheel discs in the chassis niches are painted in different shades of green and the chassis racks are in soothing grey. You may be interested to know that the Su-27 is a modification of the Su-27P and one of the more prominent characteristics is that it is relatively lightweight, coming in at only 16,300 kilograms on empty. Specs-wise, the Su-27 has a fuel capacity of 9,400 kilograms, which takes it to a maximum flight height of 22,500 meters and an altitude of 11 kilometers. For the speedsters, the Su-27 is no slouch when it comes to speed, coming in at a blistering pace of 2,500 kilometers per hour. Now let's get to my favorite part. The Su-27 comes fully packing with SDU-10S, which gives it unparalleled aerodynamic qualities, especially when considering the control system has two operating and one emergency mode. As a precaution, the engines on this baby are widely spaced to reduce the chances of both getting damaged. For a fighter jet worth approximately 30 million US dollars, you might be confused that we've said so little about the firepower. But don't worry, we were just saving that for last. The Su-27 can detect and target up to 10 hostiles, then isolate one target at a time and fire two missiles at it. It has a maximum combat load of 6 tons of ammo, so you can rest assured that this baby can do damage. Fourth on the list is the MiG-31, a fourth generation supersonic fighter interceptor that seats two and owns the skies. This high flying demon is capable of battling its enemies at an altitude of 20 kilometers at speeds of up to 3000 kilometers per hour. For the longest time, MiG-31 was the only aircraft employing a radar with a phased array. It's based on a regular aerodynamic design, a high sat trapezoidal wing, a two keel vertical and a fully rotated horizontal tail with missiles tucked into the hull. One of the most impressive things about the MIG-31 is that the fuselage is made up of 50% steel and 33% aluminum, while the nose of the aircraft is composed of aluminum alloys. The effect of these lightweight components reflects in the overall weight of the aircraft, as it weighs only 21 tons and can carry up to 16,300 kilograms of fuel and an additional load of 5,000 kilograms. It is powered by a 2D 30F6 engine with a 7-module motor weighing 2,400 kilograms. This motor is made from alloys of titanium, steel and nickel, which contribute to its extreme toughness and durability. The fuselage contains seven fuel tanks with additional locations for fuel storage on the wings and in the two keel tanks. Despite this, refueling is always done centrally and can be carried out in the sky on the Su-24T or IL-78. In terms of capabilities, the MIG-31 has radar detection capabilities ranging from 180 to 320 kilometers, as well as the ability to automatically track 10 hostiles. 
Its Argon K equipment selects four targets that are simultaneously guided by four R-33 guided missiles, while the MIG-31BM version has R-33C and R-37 missiles that are capable of simultaneously hitting six targets. In addition to this, it also has a radar for passive viewing and issuing instructions to guided missiles, R-40TD and R-60 with a thermal homing head. You might want to stop drooling as each unit of this MIG-31 will cost you about 33.2 million US dollars. Which just shows you how rich the Russian military is as they have 400 of these bad boys. Number 3. MiG-35 This next aircraft is a member of the 4++ generation. Created to rain over the skies, this aircraft is known for its ability to deal precise and effective damage to both ground and airborne targets. It is 17.32 meters long with a height of 4.44 meters and a wingspan of 12 meters. It has a normal takeoff weight of 19,200 kilograms which can be stretched to 24,500 kilograms to accommodate external payload of up to 6,500 kilograms. Now, let's talk about its capabilities. The MIG-35 can accelerate to 2,100 kilometers per hour and reach heights of up to 17,500 meters. It can also fly as long as 3,500 kilometers with the aid of suspended tanks and navigates with the use of the advanced Beetle radar, which gives it the ability to duel the skies even under the worst weather conditions. It can detect other rival aircrafts at distances of up to 200 kilometers while mapping out the surrounding area in high resolution. It has gained popularity for its ability to target up to 30 hostiles at the same time and can fire at four ground targets or six aircraft simultaneously. With these feats, as well as two improved RD-33 MK engines, top-of-the-line electronic systems, a smokeless combustion chamber, and the ability to work up to 4,000 hours without much maintenance, it's no surprise that this aircraft costs about 30 million US dollars. It also comes with 100 units of ammunition and the ability to hold up to 8 hanging weapons. Number 2. SU-35 The penultimate item on this list is one of the most effective fighters in the world. The SU-35BM is a member of the highly esteemed 4++ generation, meaning it has the ability to quickly maneuver to hit both airborne and grounded targets. The SU-35 specializes in reconnaissance, and it can fly as far as 3,600 kilometers with the use of two AL-41F1S engines that can reach supersonic speeds without the use of afterburner. But bear in mind that it uses an old electromechanical control model. The cockpit of the SU-35 has three displays to improve workflow, a holographic indicator on the windshield as well as an advanced information control system, and the N-035 Erbis radar with effective EPR capable of detecting targets at a distance of up to 400 kilometers, along with 12 suspension units and the ability to carry up to 8 tons of shells, it is easy to see why a single unit of this aircraft commands the stunning price of 85 million US dollars. Get ready folks, the number one aircraft on the list is, you guessed it, the Su-57. It was developed as a collaboration between the Sukhoi Design Bureau and Russian Aircraft Corporation as an improvement over the Su-27 on the account of it needing almost four times the parts. It made its maiden flight on August 2019, and since then it has continued to impress enthusiasts and casuals alike with its multifunctionality, maneuverability, and its blinding speed. 
Weighing around 18.5 tons when empty, this heavyweight aircraft still manages to be somewhat unobtrusive as a result of its cutting-edge stealth and EW technologies. Its profile was carefully designed to reduce visibility, and the structure of the aircraft employs composite materials that reduce the difficulty due to its reduced overall weight. Powered by AL41F1 engines, which give the Su-57 the power to blur to supersonic speeds without the use of an afterburner. When you consider this in addition to the improved flow characteristics, a fully digital control system, and increased traction, it's easy to see why this aircraft has earned its spot at the top of the list. The Su-57 is no slouch when it comes to firepower either, as it has demonstrated a frightening capacity to hit both ground and air targets with precision. It has a maximum combat load of 10 tons, shell placement at 16 points of the suspension, 8 internal and 8 external, and will cost you around 42 million US dollars for a single unit. So start saving those stimulus checks now. We are at the end of another fantastic episode. It was great having you here. Did you see anything that you liked? Thanks for watching. Which killer aircraft did you find the most impressive and why? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're new here, then subscribe to TTI's New Thinking. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also watch the next video here. See you next time. Peace.